The point of a titration is to find out exactly when you've hit a neutral pH or when you've hit a point where the two concentrations of two substances are equal in a mixture. So what we're going to do now is take oxalic acid, which uh, you get a nice solid amount of that in your kit. We're going to take exactly 0.63 grams of it because we've got to calculate the formula mass for it, which turns out is 0.63 grams in 100 mils of water. So I've measured that out already. You can use your scale to do this and you can see I've already compensated for the weight of the paper. You can see over here we have, if we zero it and we put the oxalic acid that I've already measured out, it's precisely 0.6 grams. We're going to take that and we're going to put it into this flask over here, which has got nothing else in it. And we're going to take exactly 100 mils of water. Make sure that we measure it precisely. So that's all the oxalic acid. Done. I'm going to add exactly 100 mils from this measuring cylinder of water. Remember the meniscus has got to be on the line. So in other words, the bottom of that curve on the surface tension of the water has to be on the line for the 100 mils. So it'll be exactly the right amount. So we do this. Keep a little bit of the water back so we can dissolve all of this in there in the meantime. Make sure that we get exactly the right amount of oxalic acid and water so we know precisely the concentration. In the meantime, I've also mixed some sodium hydroxide in this one. So this is a solution of NaOH, which we're going to use as the base. This is the acid. And we're going to use phenolphthalein as our indicator for when we reach the neutral point in the middle. So we've got all the oxalic acid is now dissolved. I'm going to add the remainder of the water and we have a precise amount of oxalic acid then. Right, so now we mix it up, make sure that it's all dissolved, it's precisely 100 mils, it even says so on this flask, so we check twice effectively. You could use a volumetric flask for this if you're in a laboratory, but this is more than adequate here. So we're going to place this under the burette in the meantime. Burette, very, very um, accurate measure of exactly how much of a solution you've already used. That's why it starts at zero up here and it goes to a larger number at the bottom, depending on how big it is. In the meantime, here's our sodium hydroxide, which is ready to go. We're now going to put a few drops of phenolphthalein in here to make sure that it picks up on any changes in pH in the acid. So let me get a few drops of that. Should be enough just to give us an idea of when we have a change in pH. So, I'm going to remove this from here now to make sure that the tap is closed, and to make sure that we don't have any confusion here. Let me turn that. I'm going to pour very gently this sodium hydroxide into the burette. Again, it doesn't matter how much we put in here because we just need to be absolutely sure that we get it to the right point on the meniscus. I think we should have more than enough. See it filling up from the bottom. Oh, you don't want to get any of this on your hands. So I'm just going to quickly let some of it out. So we get again to exactly the right point. Bottom of the meniscus on the zero. There it is. Perfect. Okay. Good so far. Right. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take as careful a time as we can to find precisely the right concentration here. And we're going to try and reach a point where the phenolphthalein is just a pale pink and it stays there. And we'll know we've reached a point of equilibrium. And then we'll know exactly how much of the sodium hydroxide we needed to find neutrality. Cool? Let's do this. Right, so here's our oxalic acid. Here's our sodium hydroxide solution. We know the concentration of the oxalic acid. We don't know the concentration of the sodium hydroxide. By titration, 
we will figure out what that concentration is. There are a few drops of phenolphthalein mm -hmm. in there, which will tell us when it goes pink, it has found a match. All right, are you ready? You can see as it goes in, it colors the oxalic acid pink. That's the presence of the base. And we've got to be as careful as we can to find precisely the moment at which there is a balance. Let's see. No, still got a way to go. I'm literally going drops at a time. Close there and stop. There we go. Voila! And we've used exactly 12 milli yeah, 12 out of the 25 milliliters that we had in there. So 12 mils of sodium hydroxide with that amount of 6.63 grams of oxalic acid in 100 mils of water. So there is the point at which they turn. So at this point, learners can do their calculations and figure out exactly what those concentrations are. And they should repeat the experiment three times to make sure that they don't miss anything or that they don't get anything wrong. Three times and you've got a hit. It's fantastic. Isn't science awesome?